Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanalith is Don. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and this next match is going to be Kshatra versus Don on Into Battle, which has an E. So that this looks pretty exciting. And in case you're wondering, yes, Kshatra, I do have the request match for next game. The game after this is a match that Kshatra requested, but this one is just a match that Kshatra happened to play against Dunn on Into Battle, which is starting out really exciting because Dunn starting out right next to Kshatra. So for those of you not familiar, Into Battle is a map which is horizontally split. The start box is basically like this for the left player and like this for the right side player. Normally, players will start in 1v1 over in this area to the northeast and southwest where Kshatra is, but Dunn basically going for, well, a rush build. They're going right where Kshatra would start. Kshatra going for a jump bot factory as well against Dunn's cloaky bot factory. So Dunn's being really risky here. Cloaky bot factory typically has a hard time against the jump bot factory, although not so much as, say, against the amphib factory, but pyros are a bit tricky to deal with with glaives. Doable, glaive tick is actually something that was popular for a while against jump bot factory. The obvious counter strategy is Zeus, but then Zeus gets countered by Moderator, and then you get this weird Zeus, Glaive, and to a lesser extent Scythe thing going on with the Moderators and Pyros and Placeholders. So, I know Aquanim pretty much started it, and it's become a bit of a thing. I don't know how popular it is now. I haven't seen a lot of Cloaky versus Jump in the last little while, so I don't know how popular it is to use Glaive and Tick anymore, but Glaive and Tick used to be the way to go. Don going straight for Kshatra's base. There's nothing here. Not even anything planned. Kshatra probably building up a defensive tower of some kind. Probably a Lotus. But their commander is the only thing right now defending. At the same time, though, Pyro into the back of Don's base. There are no really good defenses. Lotus is what you need against Pyros. Defenders work okay, but Lotus is the real answer. And Kshatra with the machine gun, which is exactly what they need to get rid of the Glaives. That is perfect. Don stopping Kshatra's assault, but with some damage. Reclaiming that Pyro needs to repair that. Actually, no, the Cloakybot Factory is fine. The Cloakybot Factory will not die. It's not been able to build for a little while, but it won't die. However, that opened up a lot of room for Kshatra, and this, the Puppies, that's why the Cloakybot Factory has a hard time. Puppies one-shot Glaives, they don't one-shot Bandits. So, in the short period where Jump Out was super popular, that's one of the reasons why Cloakybot stopped being popular. I mean, now you'd probably just end up switching over to Zeus again, or at least... I don't know what you do, actually, against puppies. You can't easily micro around them. It's almost impossible. It's not impossible, but it's extremely difficult to micro around puppies with glaives. Anyway. It's probably... Well, it's probably not actually going to make a difference. Puppies are still coming up from Kshatriya, though. No, never mind. Sorry, they're building pyros. They're off puppies. Only a couple puppies for scouting, double-checking whether or not Don has built up over to the northeast, or at least staking that out, because that's what you do. Yep, that puppy is just on stakeout. Good thing, that's exactly what you want to do. I've been pointing out stakeouts all the time recently, because stakeouts are super important in this game, so you know what's going on. Because scouting is actually kind of hard in 0 K, especially once defenses get built up and it's hard to send raiders around. Having stakeouts in advance, so you know that your opponent has started to build there, is really handy to know what your opponent's up to. Anyhow, Don continuing to build a bunch of glaives for the main assault force. I mean, I guess they're trying to find some weak point. Trying to, They are looking around. They are trying to figure out if Kshatriya has built up something. And Kshatriya building up over to the northwest, out of the way of where the glaives are likely to look. So Don won't be able to easily harass Kshatriya's bases at the moment. Not unless they decide to just go north and see if anything's there. But that probably won't happen until after the commander has built up these metal extractors here, probably placed a radar on the plateau over to the northwest, and then from there, then they'll see the northwest base. But at the moment, the main base is actually not that well defended. I mean, there is this one Lotus, but that's about it. There's a couple defenders too, but that still leaves quite a few free metal extractors just for the picking. Unfortunately... Oh, wow! Unfortunately for the defenders, nice move on that glaive there. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not on Don's part, but it still worked out. One defender hitting the other with a missile intended for the glaive. And that would have killed the glaive, too. So took out the defender quite nicely. Very nice move there. Don continuing to build up to the north, and Kshatra continuing to build up the northwest, but mostly just building it up, not really doing anything in the middle of the northwest and the south. Like, nothing in the west center. 
There's nothing Shatri is building there to keep their economy going, so Don's economy is going to get bigger. Also adding in warriors, which will probably prompt moderators and placeholders to be built from Kshatriya. I don't see any yet. At this point, Kshatriya has no reason to build them. So, we continue to see Pyros. Kshatriya continuing to go for those. And Dun... I'm surprised they haven't really looked north yet. I don't see any wreckage. No, no glaives have gone to the north yet. More Pyros to the center. Kshatriya trying to harass what they can of Dun. And the thing is, Kshatriya did have the puppies, so they... Do know more or less that Don really didn't come around here yet. Didn't come to the northeast yet, but Kshatra is still harassing around, trying to figure out if Don hasn't at some point gone to the northeast, and no, they have not. Don's in fact going to the northwest, which I think what Don's trying to do is cut off the entire northeast side, like build up a bit of a bulwark along the northeast side, cut off the map so that, or not so in the northeast, but the entire center, like cut through the center from northwest to southeast, and then build up the northeast side once the north center, or just the center of the map, has been relatively secure, because that way Don can just take this area and not have to worry about getting harassed by anything. And then they have three quarters of the map at their command. I think that's what Don's trying to do, which is really risky considering that they started out essentially in a rush position and, quite frankly, haven't made that paid off that much. They've killed one, maybe two, no, just one metal extractor, one defender. They've lost a few units. They took a fair amount of damage from that early pyro, and continuing pyro attacks are just doing even more damage, and there's not a lot of defenses here either. No Lotuses, the defenders can only do so much. And defenders are far more effective against Glaives than they are against Pyros. Down goes the Clogibot Factory! That is huge! I think Kshatriya might have won this right there and then, but Don not letting that go, they are aware of that northwest base. They do have radar, that's exactly what I expected to have happen. Radar on the plateau, they see the northwest base, but if they're trying to cut off from northwest to southeast and take the entire northeast side of the map, they haven't really managed to do that at all. However, getting a scythe in, just last minute scythe, taking, well, taking down a defender, I guess. What is that? Oh, that's a worker. No, that's not a worker, that's a moderator. Yeah, moderators are already up. So Kshatriya, I guess at this point they have to figure out how they're going to build through this because Don does have an economic advantage. They have not stopped building. Unfortunately, Don does not have any caretakers around this factory. They will in a moment, but not right now, so they are accessing metal. But even then, Kshatriya, even with the excess metal, isn't doing so well. Like, production-wise. So, at this point, the main thing is going to come down to the units that are currently in place. This is the problem for Don right now. Their, their southeast base, what was their main base, has been completely wiped out. Their northwest base, which is their current main base, is... I guess undiscovered so far, but that's really risky. I mean, if that gets discovered, it's done. If Don finds out about that, there isn't much to defend it with. Glaives going to the northwest to try to do what they can, but two of them are going to die right away to defenders. Possibly three actually going to die. Yeah, three die to defenders. Another couple are going to go down to the Lotus, and getting slowed down by the Freaker doesn't help either. I guess it's a distraction for the Scythe that sort of worked, but... That's not the best distraction option available, and honestly, at that distance, knowing that there was a base there, I would have gone for two, two or three warriors, because who cares? I mean, warriors, their big weakness is their speed. You're, what, five meters? Well, not five meters, but I actually don't know what the scale is in this game. But you're, I don't know, how many Elmos away? Like, 1,020, like, you're a few hundred Elmos away from their base. Just send a couple warriors in there. They... I mean, it takes three seconds for a glaive, but it takes what? Like, what is it? What's the warrior speed? It would take... Oh, what the heck? No, 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 no. Warrior. Ugh, damn it. Why can't you tell me what the warrior does? Warrior. There we go. Speed. And 51. Okay, so it would take five or six seconds. But they'd actually succeed. Much like the Zeus is doing right now, which is the exact same speed. Like, if you have a proxy base, that's where warriors become super powerful. And Don losing their commander, having their northwest base discovered, I think this is going to be game. <sighs> Good shot in the north northwest base once the Zeus's came in, but... Ah, man, when you're that close, warriors are the way to go. I'm kind of surprised Don didn't go for that. But... They didn't. I mean, I can see one glaive to scout out, see what the defenses are, see what's actually the radar dots. Five Glaives, I guess they thought, well, there must be only like one or two defenders, or maybe a Lotus. 
Two defenders and two lotuses must not have been what they expected, what Don expected, because that's what was there, and that's what wiped out their glaives. And of course, Zeus gets her to Pyro without too much issue. But that's where the moderators come in, and the placeholders come in, and there's only one moderator and no placeholders, and a lot of Pyros, and a few Zeus to deal with them. And you do need quite a few Zeus to deal with Pyros, though. Like, as many Zeus as there are Pyros is the rule of thumb. Problem is, of course, that Zeus are more expensive, and there weren't very many Zeuses built, and one of them is currently caught up with wiping out Kshatriya's northwest base. So yeah, Kshatriya pretty much just took that with Pyros. I feel like Don underestimated the power of Pyros, overestimated the power of Glaives, underestimated probably the power of Warriors, and forgot about Ticks. Because I did say Glaive Tick was the strategy, not pure Glaive. Pure Glaive, that's pretty much suicide. Glaive Tick works a bit better, but it's really micro-intensive. Zeus Rocco, that's more commonly what was done. Zeus especially what was done, because that works reliably without a huge amount of micro. It just, then you get into type counter wars. And then you have to think about, okay, how many moderators are the building versus how many Zeus am I building and Glaive am I building to get around to get to the moderators. And I guess Rockos aren't super important. But the point is, Zeus starts the type counter war. Glaives don't, but require a huge amount of micro to work. Also, wow, no, 500 metal excess. That's actually not bad. Kshatra had none, but still, 500 metal is not bad. Yeah, that didn't make a huge difference. Don actually was a bit behind metal the whole time from the looks of it. Metal, no, metal income was relatively good. Like, near the end, yeah, but Don was actually ahead in terms of metal produced for the most part of the game. Or metal used, I mean, well, about even for metal used. So yeah, the players were pretty neck and neck economically. There was a bit where Don had an economic advantage, but yeah, overall, and a bit where Kshatra had an economic advantage. Pretty even economically, it really just came down to positioning and tactics. I think if Don had done a bit more to defend against Pyros and really tried to take the Northeast, like play the long game, just cut off the center, make it so Pyros cannot get around here, take the entire Northeast side, have loads of cash available to you, which Kshatra has to fight through, and then swarm Kshatriya. It would have been a longer game, but Don was already half set up to do that. So I'm not quite sure where the hesitation came from. Or if that's what they were planning on doing in the first place. Clearly they were planning on going for an initial rush, and when that failed, it looks like everything else is kind of a matter of just seeing what they could do to make up for it. But yeah. I mean, a super risky strategy like that to take the northeast, take the three quarters of the map. If that had worked, that would have been very lucrative. And then it would have probably won the game. Anyway, last match is the match I mentioned before, a request from Kshatriya between Kshatriya and Capricious, played on Trojan Hills. Kshatriya didn't even have to request this match, to be quite honest. Because just seeing this match, if I had just seen this match, the only reason they needed to request it is because I might have missed it. But just seeing this match, it's like, I just want to see this match. These players on this map... Yes, please. So yeah, that's going to be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.